one big table. Sometimes you just come home from work or from the bar and you just want a quick snack, something that's gonna hit the spot and satisfy your senses. Well, let me show you how to do roasted young potatoes with a miso gravy. Okay, so we're ready to do uh, the cooking. I'm gonna have a hot pan here. I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. And as the oil is getting hotter, I'm gonna start cutting my, my yam. So it's important that the oil is hot at this point because what I'm trying to do, I want to have a nice crust on the outside, a nice color. As the outside, inside, as it's cooking, it's gonna get really nice and smell the oil oil. I know my oil is getting hot. And I'm just gonna transfer into my frying pan. You wanna hear that sound? If there is no sound, it means the oil is not too hot. And what's gonna happen, the, the yams are just gonna absorb all the oil. Of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a nice, generous uh, I set the temperature at 420. 420 is just a, a good temperature when you're not sure uh, what temperature put your, your harmonization. All the sugars are just giving that nice, roasted, beautiful flavor to my yams. I'm gonna transfer, transfer it to my pan. I'm gonna put them in the oven. It really depends on how high your heat was, how big your, uh, your potatoes were cut, or how long you're gonna put them in the oven. But I say about five, six minutes. But the best thing is always trust your senses. Ah, miso gravy is one of my favorite things to do. It's very simple, it's very flavorful. It's just gonna add a little extra touch to your cooking. You're really gonna love it. Uh, let's have a look at, uh, quick look at our ingredients. So I have a little bit of honey, apple cider vinegar, Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is fine. The miso tends to be quite strong in flavor, so you don't want to waste your, your best olive oil. About a cup worth of ginger and a nice clove of garlic. And it couldn't be any simpler. I'm gonna start adding my ginger in there, my piece of garlic, about a tablespoon of honey. Brown sugar works great, even white sugar, but definitely you know the honey has more uh, good properties and more minerals in it. Uh, this is my miso, and I always use uh, a white miso, and about a nice generous uh, tablespoon of it as well, and a splash of apple cider vinegar. Any kind of vinegar will do. Um, again, apple cider vinegar is just more flavorful, it's gonna add a little extra character to your gravy. So what I'm looking for, I'm gonna slowly add my oil into it, and what I'm looking for is sort of like a, a light uh, pancake batter. So I'm gonna give it a quick taste and see how it is. The flavor is already really nice. It's a little bit too tart. So I'm just gonna add a, a little bit more honey to it. Just a little, a little drizzle. So again, always trust your palate. If, you, if the gravy feels a little bit too tart, you can add more honey. If it's too sweet, a little bit more uh, vinegar. A quick blend. We're ready to eat. I'm just gonna put my miso gravy in this nice bowl over here. It's got a really nice color. And miso is just a great accompaniment with a lot of different dishes. Like you can have uh, lots of different roasted veggies. Uh, Serve it just very simple, with, uh, just like I'm doing it with my roasted yams. Just gonna give a quick check to my yams, make sure they're ready. Really hot, well salted and soft in the inside with a nice crisp outside, so they're perfect. Great, so my roasted yams are in. I'm ready to try with the miso gravy. Actually, no, wait a second. Something that is gonna make this dish even perfect is a nice cold beer. Now I'm ready to taste my dish. So here it is, my roasted yam potatoes with a miso gravy and a cold beer. The perfect snack for the perfect occasion. Thank you for watching. Please try this dish and try it at home.
send me comments and let me know how it is. Americano, Juan Zafala Mora Sotaluna, Gomma Davena.